Hello, in this video we will be installing Docker Community Edition. We will be using repository approach to install it. We have two more ways to install it. First one is using Debian packages and the second one is by using automated script. For example, one from the get.docker.com. Okay, so in the first place, make sure that you do not have an old version of Docker. And if you do, uninstall it. In the first place, we have to set up Docker repository. Let's update the index of our packages. So we go to the terminal and over here we have to type sudo apt-get update. We have to wait a moment and it's here. Now we have to install a bunch of packages that will allow us to use a repository over HTTPS. I will copy command from the Docker documentation and I will paste it in the terminal by hitting Shift Insert. And we hit Enter. It will take a moment, so I'll stop the video now. Okay, it's done, so let's clear it. Now we have to add a docker official gpg key using curl. So again I will paste the command from the documentation. So shift insert and we hit enter. And we got the ok message. Now we have to verify if the fingerprint is correct. So we go to the terminal and we have to type sudo apt-key fingerprint. And now last eight characters of the fingerprint and it will be zero E B F C D eight eight. We hit enter and it looks correct. Finally, we can add the repository. Let's clear it first. I will paste the command from the documentation. As you can see over here, I am using AMD64 architecture. If you are using different architecture, check out the Docker documentation. Okay, so we can finally hit the enter. Everything worked, so let's clear it. And now we can install Docker. Let's run sudo apt-get update again to make sure if everything is correct. And now we can finally run the docker install command. So we type sudo apt-get install docker-ce and we hit enter. OK. To check out if Docker is installed correctly, we can run sudo docker version. We can see that Docker is installed correctly. Client and the server version are exactly the same because containers are working natively in the Linux. And on the Mac OS or Windows, those two versions will differ from each other because they are using kind of a virtualization under hood. Let's clear the console. Now we'll make sure that Docker is working correctly by typing sudo docker run hello dash world. So let's start it, we hit enter and we got the message that the image uh, is not present. So it is being pulled. Lower we have message hello from docker so we know it is working correctly. And also we have the list of steps which docker took to display this message in our terminal. Okay, let's clear it and let's try something fancy. 
we will run nginx server in the container. First thing we have to do is to pull the image of the nginx. So we have to type sudo docker image pull and the name of the image and it's nginx. We have of course to provide password and we have to wait a little bit to fetch the image. Okay, image has been downloaded. Now we can run the image in the container. So we have to type the command, which will I explain later. It will be sudo docker container run d flag after this name flag and the name of our container. Let's say it will be nginx server after this port flag 80 and finally image okay let's break down this command so to run the container we have to type sudo docker container run we are using the d flag to detach the process of the nginx server so it will not take the control over our console after this, we are using name flag to specify the name of the container. At the end, we are using p flag, which allow us to map port of our host machine to the port of the container. So after running this container, nginx server will be available under the localhost colon 8080 URL. Finally, we have the name of the image which we will use to run in the container. Okay, so let's hit enter. And it is working because in the response we got the ID of our container. Now let's list all the containers. So we have to type sudo docker container ls and hit enter. And as you can see, we have a bunch of informations over here. We have the ID of our container. We have the name of the image we are using, so it's nginx. We also have the information when the container has been created and what is the status of it. Over here, we have the mapping of the ports. And at the end, we have the name of the container. I have opened the web browser and now we will check if the nginx server is available under the localhost colon port 8080. And if we hit enter, we can see that we have the welcome page of the nginx server. And it is served from the container. Now let's stop the container and we will check again if the server will be available. To do it, we have to type sudo docker container stop and the name of the container, which was nginx server. And let's hit enter. Now, if we refresh the page, it's still the same because web browser cached the response. So we have to open the private window. Okay, it's here move it and if we type localhost 8080 we can see that this page is not available okay it was a very short introduction of the docker i hope we can do more in the future remember about likes and subscribing and see you in the next video